All right, after Telefero, Mr. Telefero TV. All right, so we got some sublims when Kendrick Lamar took to his Instagram account to delete pretty much everything on it and create a pretty much a picture with the Roman numerals four, right? It equals up to the Roman numerals four, which is IV. So a lot of us got to thinking that we were about to get Kendrick Lamar's album any second now, any day now. But what it was, was a tease of a record. And by the way, in the midst of this song, the heart part for Kendrick Lamar says, you rappers have until April 7th. So I'm guessing his project is going to drop April 8th. All right. I was guessing maybe April 4th, but for 4-4, for four, four, obviously, because it's, you know, he had the four. But it looks like his project, his next album is dropping April 7th or April 8th. With that being said, in the midst of this record, look, I'm not going to even play these games with y'all. I know a lot of people going to hit me up and be like, Kendrick Lamar is not dissing Big Sean. What are you talking about? No, there's no secret to what I'm about to read to you, the lyrics to this record. You can live in that fake reality world where you don't think people are throwing sublims at each other, but let's admit it. We are in an era where none of these rappers like any of each other at the top i don't believe it's just competitiveness i really don't think these guys like each other and we gotta take signs when they're given to us right now i know people would like rappers to be more direct but right now we're in that era maybe we'll get more direct later but i kind of like the the sneak diss and as long as it's clever all right it, you make sure it's it's enough to know that you're talking about an artist and i think kendrick lamar did that with this record he's easily taking some shots at Big Sean, all right? Now, for those who don't remember, all right, Big Sean, he dropped two tracks when he was getting ready to drop his album. He dropped, I believe, was it Bounce Back, and he dropped a record called No More Interviews. Well, in the record No More Interviews, Big Sean said these lyrics. I'm not impressed with that whoop de whoop I don't know who is who, and I can't pretend like I'm hip to it, not no hula hoop, and I can't lie like... I like this shit like I usually do, and I'm just not impressed by you niggas rapping fast. Who do you know is rapping fast, by the way? Who sound like one big asthma attack but trash when I'm rapping it back? Who you put in your top five and claim that they're the savior of rap? Remember that savior word. I'm going to get right back to that shortly as a matter of fact. All right. This had been boiling for quite some time. Honestly, I believe the tension started with Big Sean's like control verse where Kendrick kind of murdered him on that. And a lot of people say that, but I honestly liked Big Sean's verse in that. But I think this had been boiling since then. It's like every time Big Sean and Kendrick get on a track with each other, people think Kendrick murders the track. And it almost feels as if though when Kendrick gets on a track with Big Sean, he takes some extra incentive to really get at the verse to make it clear that he's Kendrick. So I think Kendrick has been having the most memorable moments in verses with Big Sean. But I thought Big Sean has had pretty more consistent verses, better verses. But if you look at the history, this has happened time and time out again. On Holy Key, Cali's last album, I thought Big Sean had a better verse. Everybody's talking about how Kendrick started spitting. It's just been the more memorable verse, and he did the same thing on Control. That was Big Sean's record. So it's happened time and time out again. You can tell that Ken, uh, Sean has been has been kind of irritated in the interview. Kendrick doesn't do a lot of interviews; hasn't spoke on it. But it looks like Kendrick has put it all back into the music. And again, these guys are eyeing for that number one spot. I'm going to get to the number one spot at the end of this. But I brought up the Savior rap in Kendrick's new song. The hard part for he gets at that savior, he lets that know that he still believes he's the savior of rap, right? 30 million later, my future favors, the legendary status of a hip hop rhyme savior. All right, we're going to tiptoe on down further on in the track and really look at some of the things that Kendrick was saying to Big Sean. My fans can't wait for me to sun your punk ass and crush your whole little shit. I'll big pun your punk ass. You a scared little bitch. Tiptoeing around my name, nigga, you're lame. And when I get at you, homie, don't you just tell me you was just playing. Oh, I was just playing, K-Dot. You know a nigga rock with you, bro. Shut the fuck up. You sound like the last nigga I know. Might end up like the last nigga I know. Oh, you don't want to clash, nigga, I know. I put my foot on the gas, head on the floor, hopping out before the vehicle crash. I'm on the road. Let's keep it moving. Whole Jay-Z Hall of Fame, sit your punk ass down. So that means you ain't bigger than rapping. By the way, Hall of Fame, if you don't remember, <laughs> Big Sean's sophomore album was entitled 
Hall of Fame. You think that's a coincidence? Yeah, I know. You're the same person that believes that none of these rappers are ever taking shots at each other. Okay, keep living in that false reality. These guys are taking shots at each other. So that means you ain't bigger than rapping. So that means no more playing the back seats. My spot is solidified if you ask me. My name is identified as the king. I'll let you worry about a list. I'm on some other shit. A difference between accomplishment and astonishment. You know what time it is. Ante up. This isn't forever. Y'all got until April 7th to get your shit together. All right. Keep it moving. I wanted to get one last verse in. Yelling. One, two, three, four, five. I'm the greatest rapper alive. So damn great motherfucker I've died. What you're hearing now is a paranormal vibe. House on the hill. House on the beach, nigga. A condo in coming. I'm still in reach, nigga. I'm fresh out the water. I'm about to breach, nigga. The five-foot giant woke up up out of his sleep, nigga. All right, that's big. That's Kendrick saying, I'm back. I'm back in rap. And that's Kendrick pretty much sending a warning out to Big Sean. I'll do another video where he, I could think this would be about Drake as well. You could take that as a couple shots at Drake as well. And you can also look at the Donald Trump references. Again, I have videos on all that, but we get into Big Sean first because this record was made for Big Sean, all right? Again, the new thing in hip-hop is to make a record before you drop a project. Kendrick's doing just what J. Cole did, like a lot of rappers are doing. This record probably won't make his project. But the new thing to get streams, to get um, attention around your project, is to diss somebody who's dissed you in the past or upset you in the past in some form or fashion. And Kendrick is following that moniker. And, and, and I mean, look, man, it's no secret that Big Sean had some tension towards Kendrick. And he finally let it out. Big Sean has been taking shots. You can act like that's not not the case big sean has been taking shots and furthermore when you talk about that top five y'all know i've been consistent i think big sean on my list right i understand that in the masses opinion drake is number one but on my list i believe big sean was number one and i thought chance was climbing and i thought kendrick was 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 dropping all right everybody had been releasing music in the last calendar year outside of Kendrick, all right? Chance released music last year, but also we have to remember Chance's project won Grammys. J. Cole, Drake, and Big Sean have all released projects this year. So I'm like, damn, Kendrick, you gotta, I got to drop you on my list if you ain't releasing music. Well, it looks like Kendrick has heard, not just me, of course not, but the mass is saying Kendrick is dropping, and it looks like Big Sean was coming for everybody's spot. And again, this is just friendly hip-hop competition. You really think Kendrick and Big Sean are going to really see each other? That ain't happening. But I want to make this clear. This is not a secret. Kendrick Lamar is dissing Big Sean. He's coming back at him with bars. And I'm not the biggest Kendrick Lamar supportive, but I ain't going to lie to y'all. That flow was absolutely astonishing, and it has me interested. Again, I'm not the biggest Kendrick Lamar supporter. I was a really big Good, good, good Kid, Mad City um, fan, but I really couldn't get into To Pimp a Butterfly. I tried it a few times. It just wasn't for me, maybe down the line in life, but I really am anticipated with this Kendrick project coming up because it looks like he about to get back to the flow that I like. It doesn't look like he's just going to make a a big project like To Pimp a Butterfly in the standpoint of focusing on stuff from stuff that ain't even happened yet. It looks like he's going to get into some stuff that really, you know, a, a hip-hop head or, or somebody who likes hip-hop but also likes hit records on the radio with love. And I think that's the approach that Kendrick Lamar is taking with this project and I'm excited as a hip-hop fan. And it looks like he wants his top spot back. And for a while, a lot of people had it as Drake Kendrick 1-2 or Kendrick Cole 1-2. And I, again, I, again, if you're anybody like me who's trying to keep it consistent with people who are dropping music and making relevant music um you had kendrick falling but with this record and hopefully this project kendrick's looking to you know claim his his spot at number one or number two or wherever you had him on the list we'll have to hear the music first what do you think about kendrick lamar dissing big sean this is a diss guys you can take it for whatever you want this is a diss right I don't think Big Sean's going to put out anything soon, but this is a diss. I could have gave you a couple other more verses, um, but I got right into the meat of it. But there's other stuff in this record where you can take it as a shot to Big Sean. Should Big Sean drop mu more music or should he just let it be and um, get it back at him whenever? You know, y'all know Big Sean always has a verse in the chamber. Big Sean just started his tour, by the way. Um, what do you think about this record? What do you think about the shots that Kendrick Lamar took at Big Sean? Talk to me in my comment box below. My website, it relaunches April 15th, all right? April 15th is going to be a huge day. 
Make sure you show, show some love. Subscribe to my channel if you're watching this video. Get me to 100,000 ASAP. My website is a platform for you to promote your projects or whatever you got going. It's going to be huge. April 15th, we're going to shut the internet down. All right. Thank you for the time, love, support. Again, talk to me. Favorite verse on this Kendrick track. Um, Kendrick, Big Sean, Beef, break it down to me. All right. Thank you. I'm out. If you're looking to book me for an interview video or by phone, if you're looking to have your music or your skill featured on my daily podcast, if you're looking to book me for a speaking engagement to help motivate some kids, if you're looking to have me rock some of your clothing to help promote your brand, make sure you hit me up at booking at Again, that's booking at